guys it's actually really cold in here i just turned up the heater because i kind of woke up and i feel a little bit of a throat thing going on i'm not sure if it's from all the travels or what but i'm about to make some coffee our room is a mess that's what happens when you have a boyfriend i swear <laughs> like i am a clean freak so wait i think i need to i'm gonna use this coffee machine in here for now to just get the job done and i'm gonna go get coffee i have to film and add this morning so i'm gonna do that first it's so dark in this hotel room like it's so dark and the considering like the lack of light that comes in through the windows because there's like buildings right across and it's just like we're on like the fourth floor so it's really dark there's not a lot of light they really should consider getting like brighter lights in the room because it's just so incredibly dark in here um so i have to film my ad oh there is water in here that's nice i have to film a ad but i'm also going to do a get ready with me slash chit chat of answering a bunch of your questions um i haven't done one of those in a very long time so i figured this would be a good time to do that <sighs> but i'm going to do that in the bathroom where you can clearly tell it's the brightest part of this hotel room but first things first is i'm going to make some coffee and then get ready to film this ad and once i'm done with that i will um talk to you guys whoa yeah we need to get ready they have like a bunch of stuff in my like google maps hearts wish list so i'm gonna go check out like these vintage shops but first like a coffee shop and get breakfast there because i'm not gonna eat here um so yeah i'm gonna start getting ready and then i'll see you guys after get ready with me and answering some of your questions while I'm doing that. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a very long time and I figured we are long overdue. So we're doing that this morning. I'm in Toronto, first day in Toronto, first time in Toronto. It's chilly, my skin is dry, we're pale, and we need to get ourselves together because I'm going to explore around the city a little bit. And according to my GPS, we're in downtown, I believe. I saved some spots on my Google Maps and like my wish list and I have like a Toronto wish list or like favorites list and saved like some cafes, coffee shops, restaurants, things to do, like vintage shops that I can check out either today or tomorrow and just things I want to get done while I'm here. I'm only here for a few days and I'm here because my boyfriend had a work thing going on and we've both never been here so I'm like why don't I tag along and visit Toronto. He's working the whole time, which I totally don't mind because I love doing my own thing sometimes. And especially in a new place, I feel like it's like fun to explore by yourself and like go to little coffee shops and whatnot. I don't know. I don't mind being alone and I definitely could take advantage of the moment and just walk around and see things. And I'm enjoying my coffee. I made some coffee this morning, but I'm definitely going to have to go get some more soon. I'm excited to be very like festive and holiday because we don't get that back in Miami. I'm excited to get back to like 85 degree weather, but I'm also excited to enjoy kind of like that winter vibe for a few days while I can. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today together. First things first is skincare. I'm just going to apply some serum. Everything I'm using is literally to hydrate the crap out of my skin. I'm gonna top off with some moisturizer, a hydrating moisturizer as well. Gals, we need to like really, really hydrate. I don't think I can overhydrate today. I'm going in with more moisturizer because I just, I'm telling you my skin is so dry and I don't have dry skin, I have combo skin. A little bit of lip balm to keep my lips hydrated because now we're gonna do a really, really simple, light, easy makeup, but I do wanna keep it a little bit like holiday 
festive queue. I don't know. I asked you guys yesterday on IG stories to send me some questions for today's video. So thank you to everybody that sent a question in or two. And I took screenshots. So if I'm looking down, I'm just looking at my phone to look at all the questions. So the first question is any kids soon? And yeah, definitely want to have a family together and have kids. I don't think I want to, or we both definitely, I don't think want to have more than two. Never say never, but I've never pictured myself as being a mom of more than two children. <laughs> Love that we agree on this because it's kind of a big thing for me. Like I've never wanted to have a family until I'm in a place in my life where I can give my family the best life possible. Like I don't want to just pop out kids to pop out kids, if that makes sense. And yeah, you feel kind of pressure to, you know, as a female, you have a time clock and you just can't wait around forever to be in that perfect place because there's no such thing as that perfect place in your life to kind of start a family. But I do think there's points in your life where you're definitely more ready to welcome a family and children specifically than other points in your life, if that makes sense. I definitely think we're just really working hard to get to that point. Give the kids the best life that they can possibly ever have. It's a lifelong serious, like the most serious thing you can probably do is start a family and have children. You know, we just have to like get to that, a better place where we can have time and resources and financial stability to be able to provide very well for like children, like human beings, you know? I have always wanted to be the type of person that practices what they preach, especially as a parent. And I always wanted to make sure that I got to work towards my dreams as much as possible. Granted, you're always growing and following your dreams and goals and accomplishing different chapters and milestones in your life. But up until like the time I have kids, I wanted to have accomplished what I know is realistic to accomplish up until that time. I always just wanted to be the parent that practices what they preach. You know, parents out there are always like, follow your dreams and do X, Y, and Z. And I feel very fortunate to um, have the ability to do that. So if I do, why wouldn't I have done that in a way where I can raise my child and give them real like life skills and lessons and tips that I've learned by doing that, that they can apply towards their own life. It's so easy to tell someone to go do something that you want to aspire to do, but you never did it yourself for whatever reason. Why should they listen? Right? Why should they follow what you're saying? Long story short, that's kind of like where I want to be in life before we bring children into this world. Um, how did you and your man meet? Did you manifest the relationship? Do a little bit of like a holiday color. Like, I think I'm gonna do this one. When I moved to New York, I lived life. And I still do, but I lived life in the dating world, if that makes sense. I have fun, I went out with friends. I really got to learn about dating and like men and what I want and what I don't want and what's out there. And um, I learned a lot and I think I went through everything for a reason. I had to go through it to prepare me for Lyle and like for me to be able to like realize what I had when I had it, if that makes sense. And like what was in front of me. So everything with Lyle happened so naturally and so like not like any other relationship I've been in or situationship even. Like it just was so different. And then at first I was like, well this can't be real because it's so different but then when i like started realizing that's probably why it's what's for me because it's different than everything else and there's a reason why everything else didn't work out before you know so i think i manifested in the sense that like i had a lot of just really emotionally draining and intense like situationships before and then i i vividly remember one time going home in the middle of the, like literally it was like 2am crying my eyes out that's what happens when you're young and i've always not been the dating type i always like didn't want to waste my time because i knew how bad my options were even in college i was like i'm not wasting my time i'm too focused on like my my long-term goals and where i want to get no man is distracting me i remember this moment vividly i was i told you guys i was going back home bawling my eyes out it was really bad one night and i was like so over this person and um i remember i'm like never talking to them again i'm officially done x1 c and then i remember sitting in the uber and i was like for the first time ever in new york city instead of complaining about what i didn't want in a man i talked about what i wanted and forever to this day i share this advice with my girlfriends or anyone that i know that is single and trying to find their 
you know, their soulmate, their partner. My biggest advice is stop talking about what you don't want and start talking about what you want. And if you actually pay attention to people when they talk about, you know, their relationships or history or things like that, they're always talking about what they don't want. Oh, I didn't like this in the person. I didn't like that. I don't like them being cheaters, disloyal, liars, boring, um, unmotivated, X, Y, and Z. Everyone's like, I don't want that. I don't want that. But no one ever talks about what they want. And they think you, you know, you understand what they want because it's opposite of what they don't want. I've always been very focused of my word because I do believe in manifestation. This is a New York thing too, because like I said, I never dated growing up when I was in school. Um, I just didn't care for men or dating or anything like I just relationships were not a topic of interest for me I was so focused on making it to New York and originally going to law school because that was my whole plan that moment in the in the uber when I was talking about what I did want not that long after I met Lyle spontaneously very unexpected and when I was kind of like I met Lyle through a mutual friend and it was just talking every single day since then and it started off as a very comfortable loving kind of friendship that quickly i mean friendship was only like for like a very few amount of months and then we um very quickly became you know official and wanted to kind of be exclusive and not you know stop with the dating around and when you know you have something good in front of you stop stop with the games well, ladies don't be afraid and don't be scared of losing someone just because you voice what you want in a relationship like voice it you have nothing to lose if that person is for you they're gonna agree with you and like have you ever had body image issues <laughs> yeah who if someone's telling you they haven't they're lying and i'm a fairly confident person i've always been very very happy and confident in my skin and i don't say that thinking i'm perfect i'm happy with my imperfections i'm confident in my imperfections and i'm confident in not being perfect and i'm very happy in my skin if that makes sense even like when i've been around people that i'm like I like something about them that I think I don't have, you know, physically. Um, I've still been totally fine being next to them and completely comfortable with myself and what I have to offer. It's a strange thing that I don't even know how, um, did I work towards it? Did I get it? Was I born with it? I don't know. I don't remember at what point in my life that it just kind of became this way. I just remember always being this way. What I know is that um, I just believe in my worth and you should too, there's only one of you and the sole fact that you are on this planet is enough to make you incredibly confident in yourself and the value you have to offer and the things you can achieve that you want to achieve. It's a blessing to even be on this planet and we just take it for granted because it's what we know and do every day but it's gonna be taken away from us one day and to even have gotten the chance to live this life is just incredible and it's a blessing. You have to just stop comparing yourself to others. I swear it's all with comparison and social media. Like, can I compare myself to others? Yes, of course. I just open up a, a social media app, right? But what is that getting me? Nothing. And I just always remind myself that it's not doing anything good for me. Can I get into a depressive episode and hate myself and my life and my body and everything I have? Yes, you can easily do that in 30 seconds. Just go on an app and tell your mind all these negative things and you know start feeling that way. But you can also not do that. It's really just personal choice. I just know that nothing good comes out of comparison and you just are wasting your life away comparing yourself to others and limiting your own possibilities and success. Finding self-love and what makes you special is the best advice I can give. I don't know, it's different for everybody, but what makes you special, what makes you feel good about yourself, what, what you deep down know and believe your true passions and talents are, follow that and lead your life with that because that is what you're good at that others might not be. And that is what is going to get you a little bit of that confidence boost sometimes that we need from the outside world. Don't rely on that always, but we all need it sometimes. Be aware of that. And like you get that by following your talents and skills and gifts that were given to you specifically because when you put yourself in those situations where you can apply those things you're going to outcompete your competitors if that makes sense you're never going to outcompete your your competitor in your eyes whoever that person place or thing might be if you're just doing what they're doing and what they're good at right you're just setting yourself up for disaster so that's kind of my little tidbit of advice and yes of course i have body image issues who doesn't but um i think you have to find a way to filter it out and when it pops into your head check yourself in a very loving and positive way and don't let yourself go in too deep into those thoughts 
like block them out, you know? I'm gonna use this, a little bit of this lipstick as well to give me a little bit more of that red berry kind of look because I feel like it's very holiday. Just adds also a little bit of like life to my lips. So I'm just so pale right now. I'm wearing my boots with like these like pant leggings and then my little cable knit sweater, this wool coat, my little beanie hat, and we're off. I really look like a peanut head. I just got back to the hotel room and look what Lyle left me. <gasps> so cute. He literally knows the key to my heart. Well, I'm gonna have to order dinner anyways, but um, I have a lot of work to finish and my computer died at the coffee shop, so I had to get my butt back home. But this vanilla oat latte, oh my gosh, what on earth is this deliciousness? Banana caramel maple like cake it looks like and then a cookie to oh okay all right wow um my mouth is watering cute love it i just got my uber eats order and tell me why well first of all i ordered soup i got thai food i ordered soup and then curry um why is it every time you order delivery food it just looks like crap like I've always thought about that. I'm like, why is it like, like, first of all, looks like the driver took a sip out of my soup. I know he did it, but it looks like it, right? Where's the rest of my soup? I'm missing some soup. 
Granted, maybe they didn't want it to spill, but then why am I paying for all the soup when I'm missing mm, one fifth, a quarter? I don't know. So that's that. Also, soup looks like she's lonely. She's bored. She doesn't have enough ingredients in there. Curry looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Also, I've been like working on um, the video. It's taken literally hours. I don't know what is up with the wife at the cafe was so slow. It's literally taken an hour to save this video. It's not even a long video. It's not like my longer videos. Um, it's taken an hour to save it now and I'll an hour to upload and process. So yeah, I have to fix that and then send that over for approval. I've been ordering some fabric because we're doing some new pieces. So I've just been dealing with fabric stuff nonstop. I was on a call when I was at the cafe to like figuring out some fabric stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that. Now I just am working on this on my laptop, have the TV going. I don't even know what's playing. Some like CSI type show that they have going on, but I've never seen this. This TV like doesn't have a guide either, so I don't know what's playing on what channel. Okay, the soup is good. I got a lemongrass soup. Tastes like lemongrass. It has a nice kick, a nice spice to it, but not too much. I really like it. This is gonna be really refreshing. Mmm, this is actually really good. See, maybe you shouldn't judge a book by the cover. I was judging a book by the cover. I judge a book by the cover when it comes to food. But I guess you just have to realize that delivery orders never look aesthetic, even if you order it from an aesthetic place. The thing that's trippy about that is you're paying the same price that you would in store, where the experience might be more enjoyable. But I guess that's just a part of being lazy and not wanting to go pick it up. Or dine in. Good morning, guys. I just finished getting ready and I want to show you my outfit before I head out. I am about to look at our little favorites list and come up with an agenda for today but today is the last full day so definitely going to be enjoying and going to all the vintage spots I saved that I told you about because I want to check out at least a couple and see like what the vibe is like here so this is my outfit I brought a lot of just like simple wardrobe pieces with me which I tend to do when I'm going to be traveling for like an extended period of time and need to like have enough looks especially with like different things coming up and events and like dinners and whatnot so i never bring like too trendy of pieces unless it's like something i need to shoot or want to shoot it's mostly like pieces like this where i can like rewear and i'm saying that only because i've worn like all of these pieces already but i turned it into like a new outfit in a way so you can't tell i guess but i'm wearing these black jeans and then my valentino loafers I have literally um, the stockings on yesterday that I ripped underneath and then white socks as well so that I'm nice and warm. And then this white striped men's oversized shirt that you guys already saw and then this sweater on top. I feel like so fluffy right now, but I know I'm gonna be like really warm when I'm walking around. I'm also wearing my um, wool coat and then my Chanel bag. I might have to redo my bun because it looks like pieces are coming out. I have like a low bun stitch going on. And yeah, I think I need to redo this bun. It also looks really big. I need to like make it a little bit smaller. But I just put on some blush highlighter, which you could see. Um, brow gel and then lip liner. And that's for my makeup look today. And yeah, I'm going to finish some work. I'm about to journal. I have my journal with me. I'm going to journal for a little bit and then head out soon. So I have to go through these fabric swatches in a little bit. And I like to revisit things and like feel out my thoughts and see what, like what I'm thinking, what I plan on doing with certain pieces, X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to go through that as well. Walking around, we're going to the market. I think I told you guys about it a few days ago. I don't remember, but there's a market here that like is similar to the one in New York. The one on the west side, I couldn't remember what the name of it is. Um, but similar to that, 
where there's like vendors and food. It's all inside and I think it's open all year long. Um, so it's not a pop-up or anything, but they have food and drinks and fresh produce and stuff, which I can't get right now, but I want to definitely get some coffee and something to eat because I haven't eaten yet. So I'm excited to fuel up. And then we're gonna go check out the consignment slash vintage shops. They're close to West, Queen West, right here? Which apparently is like a Soho vibe. And I, that's also where the shops are, so it's perfect because we can check out both places at once. So yeah, it's not as cold, but my mouth is kind of hard to talk. It is kind of cold. I know it's cold when I can when I can't like move my lips properly. So yeah, we're gonna end this vid here, and then I'll see you guys probably at the market. Here's a little outfit stitch. Definitely layered up, but I'm still cold. Like my mouth is cold. My hands are cold. My fingers are like red. chamomile tea with a lemon wedge in here. It's really hot. I'm gonna burn my lips. Mm -mm, it's too hot, I can't even take a sip. But um, we don't know if it, it could be also a, a Shih Tzu as well. Yeah. And, uh, he just oh, chills yeah. all day. You bring him to work all the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah, yeah. He comes to work with us every day. Yeah, yeah. And his eyes are so like. Human. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. like because they're big. Yeah, they're yeah. huge. Was it his, really noticed? Eyes and then someone was like his lips too. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, he's doing something for the camera. Oh. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, he's so straight. Oh, we love that. Good boy. That's dope. He knows. He knows what he's doing. Oh yeah, it's for a treat. Duh. Did you teach him to do that? <laughs> Came like this. He's a rescue. Oh, oh he's wow. a rescue. No, oh my no god. How long have you had him for? Love that. Oh, okay. oh he's Three so cute. Little... Let's see which one did I get? Is this one mine? That's a little scone. get these blister bandages because I have a really bad blister from walking around and wearing those new boots that I got um, I don't honestly I don't know if it's the new loafers and new boots I don't know I have a bunch of new shoes that I brought on the trip so it could be from any of them you know how like when you have leather pieces you have to break them in like I was explaining this to Lau because if you're buying new sneakers you don't really 
get what I'm saying at all because sneakers never give me blisters, new or not. Like it's sneakers are so comfortable usually, but regular shoes, I feel like. Is it possible to wear new shoes without getting a blister? I don't know. How does this work? This is usually pretty self-explanatory. Oh. Uh-oh. Wait. Mm, it hurts. We're, we're about to go to dinner. At this, like... Is it Asian fusion or Japanese fusion? Something like that. Something like that, right? Ow, what? This hurts. Damn. Oh, okay. But I get these, like, I'll show you guys. It's not that bad, but I get these bandages that are, like, just for blisters. If you get, like, a regular band aid, um, it's just going to fall right off the moment you're wearing shoes because they don't stay on. But these blister ones stay on, which is why I like them. I feel like this. This foot's actually fine. It's only the other one. So yeah, I'm gonna put these away. We're about to walk to dinner. It's only a 10 minute walk from the hotel. sleep on the flight that way I can get back to Miami feeling semi rested so I could get straight to work because we landed at like 9. There should be no traffic so we should get there quick. Um, I had an amazing trip but I feel like I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm gonna be sleeping on this flight so I don't think I'm gonna be talking to you after this moment. I am a sleepy goose right now. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here for some reason. I'm just like out of focus the whole time I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Love you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to join the fam and I will see you guys in the next video Love you